<laughs> People let me through the stage all the time. <laughs> Moms and dads and, and guests, I want to welcome you today. Um, I understand that this is the first graders' first official program. And the reason I have it during school is because it's really not a, a long program. It's short. It's only about 15 minutes. I like to keep it, keep it kind of low stress, and so we keep it in my room. Um, we practice really hard as first graders. Uh, I, I was with a bunch of music teachers on Friday, and we were joking around about how the first month of school in first grade, what we learned how to do is make a circle and then line up, and that takes about 45 minutes. And so we practiced really, really hard how to transition and move from place to place. And so there was a little bit of conversation whether we were going to move this actual program maybe into the cafeteria, into a bigger room. But I decided not to do that because they all know where to go. I didn't want to move into another room and then have to relearn how to do all that. Uh, I did want to draw your attention to the back of the program. These are some things that I think are really, really important that I think that I teach when I'm teaching these children. Um, about 25 years ago, there was um, a book that came out about different intelligences we all have. Some are verbal linguistic kids, uh, verbal intelligences, some are mathematical, logical intelligences. Well, I think in music, we get every single one of those. At some point, I may hit five or six in one class. So I'm hitting all the different learning styles of all these kids every time I see them, I hope. And so if you look on the inside, I kind of put for the four songs that they had to learn for this program, kind of the specific things that I hopefully was touching on with these kids through those specific songs. So that we're not just in here, it's important for me to let you know that we're not in here just playing kind of cute games and you know, doing you know, cute stuff. There's a point to what we do, and that we, we are really learning things in here, and I hope the things that we're learning in here are complementing what's going on in the classroom as well. Um, so what I also hope to uh, let you know is after the program is over with, we'll probably have a little bit of time. It would be a great time for you if you had any questions you'd like to ask me, it would be a great time to do that. Um, what I first want to go through and let you know some of the things that we're looking at in the first song, All Around the Buttercup, you're going to notice um, our instrument players, this is called the Orf, these are called the Orf instruments. The reason they're called Orf which was a, a German composer named Karl Orff, who invented these instruments as a way for children to make music. So what we're going to do is the kids are going to sing and accompany themselves. They're already adding harmony to melody lines, which is a pretty advanced skill. They've learned how to keep a steady, a pretty steady beat. We're always working for a steady beat. That's always the uh, first goal we have in music, is that steady pulse. Pulse is very important. We have it in our bodies, our heartbeat, our breathing. You know, life is full of pulse and rhythm and, you know, the rhythmic things coming back yearly. So the pulse is everywhere. So we learn how to learn how to do that. The kids are learning how to keep a bordun. If you look in there, it's B-O-R-D-U-N. Uh, you're going to notice the bordun is we're doing it on G and D. It's, can I have my instrument players, can I see your uh, all around the buttercup? Adam to explain position. One, two, three, and four. And that's a board game. It's just a pattern, and you can go to King Top. King Top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so that is a uh, that's a board game, and this is what we spend a lot of time learning how to do. You can take this board game as the basic accompaniment pattern, and then we expand from there. Uh, I think the next song is uh, The Spider Kept on Spinning. Spider Kept on Spinning, you're going to notice a really complicated three-part instrumental texture, uh, which is kind of cool. I like to connect the music to the words. So as the spider is spinning her web, uh, we've created some spider spinning music, because music and poetry go together very well. So we like to deepen the poetry by adding a musical element to it as well. Um, transitions are hard for kids to move from this position to another position. So we've added a nursery rhyme. You probably all know, I was, I go through my 
Dumpty, or is it V to the Oh, it's what is it? V to the Yeah. Okay. As they transition back and forth, there'll be a chanting Hey to the Little, which is the 6 8 meter, um, which is another skill we have is teaching them how to transition between 4 4 meter, beach grouped in fours, beach grouped in sixes, because that's how poetry is grouped as well. Grouped in duples and triples. Um, also, you're going to notice in All Around the Buttercup, we've added a little dance to this. A lot of the singing games and dances I do with kids come from America or Europe or wherever about 150 years ago, 200 years ago. Kids don't much play games like this like they used to anymore. And what you're going to notice is this is how kids, um, when you're choosing people for, to play games, to be partners and, and things like that, this is how they eliminate people. You might remember some games like that from when you were a kid and playing these games. Um, so what you're going to notice is that we're, this is a choosing game or eliminating game. And at the end, they, it's kind of cool because it makes this really cool buttercup at the end. Okay. Are you ready to go for three? Yeah. yeah. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Thank you. 
Of course, I just started the video camera and you take the fishing pole away. No? Oh, you got a fish? Wait a minute, you don't, wait a minute. Oh, okay, he's in your hand. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What's his name? Um, Bluegill. Bluegill? Okay. Okay, put him back Look. in. He's a crocodile. Oh, first, remember? Oh. <laughs> or that one, too. Jameson, you got one? He almost yeah. threw down the pipe. Oh, mommy threw his fish in and it almost went down the hole. Yeah, Val, come look at it. I saw. Oh man. Oh man. Hi Kellen. Kellen, wave at the camera. Did you guys all leave Uncle Mark to pick up the baseball stuff? No, wave at mommy. Did they desert you? Come look how little this one is. Oh, he's a Jameson, bring him over here and show me. Let me show you. He caught a fish when he was with me. He put it in the water. Look how little it is. Oh my goodness. That is little. That is very little. I'm like a senior citizen who drinks. I forget it. It doesn't hold fish. It fell. It pulled hard and it's little. No, I just don't remember where it fell. It pulled hard and it's little. Oh, it did. You gotta be careful. I think it's too cold for the fish now. They don't want to come out of the water. Don't look at him. He fell right into the Just get one? Yeah. I, of course, I just turned the camera off and you get one. <laughs> Can I go show Uncle Mark? I think he's seen enough bluegill today. Mom didn't show it to him. Can I? 
No, he, I think you went in to go to the bathroom, Liam. Oh, now that's on video camera. Oops. Tell Uncle Mark, tell Uncle Mark this one's Jameson, get your... Don't tell Dad. Got it. I did. On that little fishing pole? Oh, my gosh, that yeah, thing is... Whoa, whoa. Ben, Damn, you caught a fish! No. That thing is ugly. Ben, you a fish. I know that. <laughs> whoa. Ben, go on. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Jameson. Good, Jameson. I'm putting it back one, in. Two. Can I touch it real quick? Yeah. Can I touch it real quick too? Yeah, they're slimy. Man. Hurry. Oh, that oh, really. Come here, let me get this guy off your hook. Oh, and Liam, you caught a fish too? Yeah. Liam, what do we hear for me since I was? Uh, this guy's dying, Uncle Mark. Jameson, good job. Hi, Kellen. Take it back there and throw it in the weeds and then put the net back. Go back there and throw it in the weeds. Where are you going? The door is closed, Kellen. Kellen! Let me see you cast, Jameson. What are you doing? next year, do they? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna, I'm 
Okay, you can stay here, Jameson. You're fine. We go down there and start fishing. Fishing. Good cast, Jameson. No, you can't get in the boat yet, babe. No boats yet. We're going a little bit. Getting any nibbles yet, Jameson? You catch some big fish. Don't hook Uncle Mark. Where are they going, Colin? yourselves for the crash. Hold on. Watching. 
Yeah. Yeah. You popped it? Yeah. Go get another balloon. What you got there? Yellow. A yellow. What is that? A yellow what? A yellow what? What is it called? Wow. Mom's not heading up 50. Let's see you do it. 55 times? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, what? Toe. You're on your toe? Let me see. That's stuck on your toe? Mom, I saved it. I saved it. Cool. Uh, you're down for the count. I got it 67 times. Pretty amazing. I, I got it more times. Who's that over there? Is that our Baxter boy? Don't do that. <laughs> Go through there and kick all the balloons. I'll, I'll burp in your camera. You better not. What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to come over and get your milk and drink your milk. Don't get up there, Callan Patrick Skiller. You get down from there. touching there. doing with them?
Yeah. Okay. Purple. color do you have? Uh, green. Green? <laughs> uh, that would be red, then. <laughs> no, yeah. Now you have green. Yeah. Green and white. White. Yeah, where's the other green one? Right there. Green. Right here is another green. Green. Close. Here it comes. And go and nail. Yeah. What color? What color is this one? Yellow. Toot. Are you tooting again? <laughs> I need that one. What the purple one? You say, Daddy, get that one. Get that one. What are you playing? Balls. Balls. There one in there? Is there one in there? Yeah. Well, get it. <laughs> How many do you have? Fourteen, huh? Fourteen? Yep. Close. That says fifteen. Hey, you're not supposed to hit the ball at me. What's up, dog? I'll give you what's up, dog. Can I see it? Why are you pointing at Liam? No, I'm pointing it at you. <laughs> it's my picture, dog. See, so you get a good hit, Liam. Okay, as soon as they come out here, you're not hitting anything. What's going on? Coach pitch? Oh, you're playing the game, huh? Where'd it go? Go down, bud. Go down. Daddy, can you put a waddle in the pink? Uh, maybe. We'll see.
How about if someone goes with them? Because we're going to have dinner in a little while. I'm when aren't you hungry? <laughs> Not right now. Not right this minute. I'm, vi I'm videotaping, Liam. Daddy. Daddy's sleeping. Did you get a wedgie, Jade? Okay, I'm gonna get your video, your your fit on a videotape. Okay. I am going to walk in the house right now and make you dinner. Okay. If you would like yogurt with your dinner, that's fine. Okay.
That ball, right? First off, we got number nine batting first, Jaden Moores. <laughs> batting second, number eleven, Evan White. Batting third, number 14. 
Jean, Bully Stern. Batting fourth, number three, Joey Leeway. Batting fifth, number 13, Jameson Skillery. Batting sixth, number two, Frank Ross. Batting seventh, number six, Clayton Kotke. Batting eight, number 10, Haven Weber. Number five, playing with a broken arm, Cameron Bullard! Yeah. Assistant coaches this year, Hank Weber! Yeah. And Paul Stern, the 2008 Dodger team! And there's two outs, you go on any kind of hit. Two outs, as soon as he hits the ball, you're running fast. Thank you. 
guys. Woo! Good job, Jaden. Okay. Stop. Machine difficulties. What's new in this league? Right in the middle of Jameson's at bat. A fitting end to the season.